The ancient strategist Sun Tzu once said, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. This profound statement resonates deeply with the Stoic philosophy we'll explore today. Imagine standing unflinchingly amidst a whirlwind, finding your center of calm, your unshakable core. That's the power of Stoicism. And that's the journey we're embarking on together. Today, we delve into the art of silence, a trait often overlooked yet deeply powerful. It's not just about the absence of noise, but about the presence of a profound inner peace, a strength that speaks volumes without uttering a single word. This strength allows us to navigate the chaos of life, to find opportunities where others see only obstacles. Join me in embracing the Stoic way, finding strength in stillness and power in pause. If you're ready to transform your life with Stoic wisdom, stay with us throughout the entire video. Together, we'll unearth the full power of silence and its impact on your inner strength and clarity. The first trait of people who speak less is their ability to eliminate distractions. This is an art, a discipline that requires a steadfast commitment to focus. It's about cultivating an environment where silence reigns, where thoughts can flow undisturbed, and where clarity can be achieved. Imagine a serene lake, untouched by the wind, its surface perfectly reflecting the world above. That's the power of silence. It provides a mirror for our thoughts, allowing us to see clearly, to understand deeply, and to act wisely. When we eliminate distractions, we invite silence into our lives. We create a space where we can listen to our inner voice, where we can engage with our thoughts without interruption. It's a place where we can connect with our innermost self, forging a path towards true understanding and wisdom. Remember, silence is not just the absence of noise, but the presence of focus. It's about finding clarity amidst the chaos, about finding peace amidst the storm. It's about discovering the power within you, the power of silence. The second trait is the understanding that silence attracts attention. It's a paradox, isn't it? In a world where everyone is clamoring for attention, shouting louder and louder, it's actually silence that draws people in. Think about it. When you're in a conversation or a meeting and someone falls quiet, your eyes are immediately drawn to them. You lean in, you listen, because silence signifies that something important is about to be said. It's not just about being quiet. It's about the quality of your silence. Is it a brooding silence, a thoughtful one, or a confident silence? Each one sends a different message. Each one attracts attention in a different way. The Stoics understood this. They knew that silence wasn't just golden. It was powerful. It was commanding. It was a way to stand out in a crowd without uttering a single word. In silence, one can truly command attention. Now let's explore the next three traits. First, let's consider how silence builds strength. When we choose to remain silent, we're not simply holding our tongues. We're exercising control over our reactions, honing our ability to resist the urge to respond impulsively. This is a form of mental strength training, a workout for the mind that helps us develop resilience and discipline. Over time, this practice can transform us into individuals who are less reactive and more reflective, more thoughtful in our responses, and more composed in the face of adversity. Next, we turn to freedom from pride or arrogance. Silence can be a powerful antidote to the temptation to flaunt our accomplishments or assert our superiority. It's a reminder that true worth doesn't come from the praise we receive, but from the integrity of our actions. When we cultivate silence, we're choosing humility over arrogance, substance over showmanship. We're acknowledging that our value lies not in what we say about ourselves, but in what we do for others and how we conduct ourselves. Finally, Let's look at the role of silence in negotiations. Silence can be a strategic tool, creating space for the other party to fill with their thoughts and feelings. It's a way to shift the balance of power, to show that we're confident enough to let others speak their minds without feeling the need to interrupt or counter every point. When we're silent, we're not just listening. We're showing respect for the other person's perspective and we're giving ourselves the opportunity to think before we respond. This can lead to better outcomes in negotiations, as it allows us to understand the other party's position more fully and to formulate a thoughtful, well-considered response. Silence is a reflection of inner strength, humility, 
and strategic thinking. It's a skill that, like any other, requires practice to master. But the rewards are worth it. A stronger, more resilient mind, a humble, grounded sense of self, and the ability to navigate complex interactions with grace and wisdom. So, let's continue to embrace the power of silence and see where this journey takes us. Moving on to the next two traits. We delve into the sixth trait of Stoic Silence. Kind and considerate regard for others. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, we often forget the power of silence in showing kindness and consideration. When we pause, when we allow ourselves to be silent, we create a space for others to be heard, to be acknowledged. This is more than just a courtesy. It's a profound form of respect. Silence allows us to put our own thoughts and opinions on hold, to truly focus on the person in front of us. It enables us to empathize with their experiences, their struggles, their joys. This trait isn't about being passive. Rather, it's about actively choosing to give others our undivided attention, our compassionate understanding. It's about recognizing the inherent worth in every individual we encounter. Now, let's explore the seventh trait, the art of deep listening. This is where the power of silence truly shines. Deep listening is more than just hearing the words someone speaks. It's about understanding the emotion behind those words, the unspoken sentiments that lie beneath the surface. When we practice deep listening, we quiet our own inner chatter. We resist the urge to interject, to offer advice, or to steer the conversation towards our own experiences. Instead, we simply listen. We absorb. We reflect. This is a rare gift, one that fosters genuine connections and meaningful relationships. It's an art that requires patience, humility, and a genuine regard for others. In the end, silence is not just about the absence of sound. It's about creating a space for understanding, for empathy, for connection. It's about respecting the voices of others, even when they're not speaking. And it's about tuning into the subtle nuances of communication that often go unnoticed. Silence allows us to understand others better and to listen more deeply. So let's embrace the silence. Let's harness its power to deepen our relationships, to increase our understanding, and to amplify the voices that often go unheard. Because in the end, the most powerful form of communication often comes from the quietest moments. Finally, let's look at the last three traits. The eighth trait of those who master the art of silence is the cultivation of reflective wisdom. Silence is a canvas on which wisdom paints its strokes. It allows us to reflect, to introspect, and to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. We often mistake noise for knowledge, chatter for insight. But in silence, we can truly listen to the whispers of wisdom that echo within us. Moving forward, the ninth trait is resilience in adversity. Life is a stormy sea, and it's only through silence that we learn to weather these storms. Resilience isn't about avoiding the storm, but learning to sail our vessel in it. Silence provides us with the space to absorb the shocks, to bend but not break, to fall but always rise again. It's in the quiet moments that we gather our strength, ready to face the challenges that life throws at us. Finally, the tenth trait is embracing the silence. It's not just about appreciating silence, but truly embracing it, letting it become a part of who we are. Silence isn't about suppression, it's about expression. It's about expressing our authentic selves, our deepest thoughts, and our most profound emotions. We often fear silence, seeing it as an empty void. But in truth, silence is a vessel full of potential. It's a space where creativity blooms, where ideas take root, and where we find peace amidst the chaos. So, embrace the silence. Find comfort in its depth, strength in its tranquility, and wisdom in its stillness. Let silence be your guide, your teacher, your sanctuary. In silence we find wisdom, resilience, and a profound sense of peace. It's not just a trait of the Stoic, it's a gift to ourselves, a tool for personal growth and a pathway to a more mindful, meaningful life. In conclusion, let's revisit the power of silence and Stoicism. Through our journey today, we've discovered how silence is not merely the absence of noise, but a profound presence of inner peace. 
We've learned how stoicism teaches us to eliminate distractions, how silence can attract attention and build strength, and how it can offer freedom from pride and arrogance. We've also seen the power of silence in negotiations, its role in fostering kindness and consideration for others, and its importance in the art of deep listening. Additionally, we've delved into the art of reflective wisdom, resilience in the face of adversity, and the power of embracing silence. So the next time you find yourself in a challenging situation, remember the power of silence. Embrace it. Let it be your shield and your strategy. Let it reflect your inner stoic, someone unfazed by external pressures and focused on inner strength.